Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School. The sky is our limit. Hello, our dear learners. My name is Wanam Rogers. Going to take you through Primary 5 Mathematics, Lesson 1, under the topic Patterns and Sequences. Under patterns and sequences, we are going to look at counting numbers and whole numbers. Here, I expect you at the end of this lesson, you should be able to define what counting numbers are, differentiate between counting numbers and whole numbers, and also to answer some questions related to counting numbers and whole numbers. So we are going to move straight forward to our topic that is the counting numbers and whole numbers. When you talk about counting numbers, these are numbers used in ordering things. Counting numbers are numbers used in ordering things. For example, when you're at home there, you can be asked to count the number of family members. It means that you'll be able to start with one, two, three, four, as you continue. Or you'll be, you can be asked to count the number of plates or cups or things that are at home. Then when you are counting, it means you will start with, with one, meaning that the first counting number Our first counting number is one. Our first counting number is always one. From one, the next counting number is two. Two, we go to three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and so on. So the first counting number is one, followed by two, three, four, like that. So from one to two, you will realize that we add one. So meaning the difference between the first counting number to the next counting number is always one. Then from two to three, still we add one. We add one. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Meaning to get the next counting number, you will add one as you continue. But that is if the order is in ascending order. That is if you are counting in increasing order. But if we are counting in decreasing order, that is in descending order from the highest number to the lowest number, it means that, for example, if we our first whatever whole number is the counting number is 20, Sorry. In decreasing order, to get the next counting number, 
we shall subtract 1. And we shall get here 19. To get the next one, we shall subtract 1 to get 18. To get the next one, we shall subtract 1 to get 17. Like that, like that. That is with counting numbers. But when we talk about whole numbers, these are numbers that are not fractions. And our first whole number is zero. The first whole number is zero. From zero, the next one is one. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten, like that, like that. So when you look at whole numbers also, you will realize that from the first whole number to the second one, we add also one. There is that interval of one. From one to two, it is also adding one. From two to three, it is adding one. As you see, three to four, we have added one like that, like that. Meaning to get the next one from 10, you will also add one and you get 11, 11, 12, like that. So when you look at the counting numbers and the whole numbers, the difference is that uh, the counting numbers start with one. Whereas the whole numbers, the first whole number is zero. So the difference is that counting numbers start with one, whole numbers start with zero. But the similarity is that they also keep on increasing by one. That is the similarity. They keep on increasing by one. Then if it is in descending order also, if we start with, let's say, 18, to get the next whole number in descending order, we shall subtract 1, and we shall get 17. Then here, we shall also subtract 1 to get 16. You will also subtract 1 to get 15. You will subtract 1 to get 14. You can also subtract 1 to get the, the next one. So having looked at counting numbers and whole numbers, let us see how we can answer some questions related to counting numbers and whole numbers. For example, we can have our example one here. The question can say, find the sum of the first five counting numbers. Find the sum of the first five counting numbers. The key word here is sum. And when they talk about sum, they mean addition. Then first five counting numbers. So now here, what we are going to do is what we are going to do is to list the 
counting numbers. That is, we can say one, that is the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can stop there. According to the question they were saying, find the sum of the first five. Find the sum of the first five counting numbers. So now here we are going to count the first five. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So they are these ones. Put the bracket here. They are those ones. The sum, it means we are going to add only this one. These are the first five. So we shall have... 1 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. We are going to add it together. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. Therefore, our answer will be 15. You unline your answer. That is our example one. Example two can be like this one. That is two. Our example two is, what is the difference between the tenth whole number and the fourth counting number? So here we are going to, first of all, list we are, we are going to list the whole numbers. Putting in your mind that the first whole number is zero. Followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like that. Then the question is the tenth whole number. So we are going to count. This is our first whole number, second whole number, third, fourth, fifth, fifth sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So we highlight our tenth whole number, which is nine. Then counting numbers. Counting numbers. Putting in your mind that the first counting number is one. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Counting like that. The question was talking of the fourth counting number. This is our first counting number, second counting number, third, fourth. Ah, this is our fourth counting number. The question was talking about the difference. Meaning the difference, we are going to get the tenth whole number, which is nine, minus the fourth counting number, which is four. And when you subtract nine minus four, or when you subtract four from nine, our answer will be five. Then you underline your answer.
Now, learners, this question, they can use product. Say, what is the product of the tenth whole number and the fourth whole number? When they talk about the product, you know what it means. That means multiplication. Therefore, you will also follow the same steps, but instead of putting subtraction sign, you'll put multiplication sign, and you also get the answer. Having looked at counting numbers and whole numbers, I hope learners you have understood this work very well. So I'm going to leave you with an activity that you will do and you submit your answers to our different class WhatsApp groups. But remember to stay home and stay safe.